because I know exactly when I'm recording <laughs> and I have control over editing process. Yeah, okay. so no one can see you're crazy. <laughs> I don't look at my crazy. Yeah, Tisha scared me a little bit ago. I kind of backed away a little <laughs> just because I was like, ah. Kind of. Oh, good. That means I can scare you. Yeah, I guess you'll need to do that at some point. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to another episode of Life With Feet. I'm here with Jessica here in St. Louis. I'm excited to be here because we have a really interesting topic to talk about today. Did you hear about the issue at IHOP when the manager told a child who was born without arms that he could not use his feet on the table? Oh yeah, I do. And what was crazy is I actually met with the family last summer because I felt, I felt like I needed to reach out to this family. It turned into this like, viral story all over social media because he was three years old and when you're three and you use your feet you have to sit on the table but he was sitting there on the table and he was using the communal like syrup that you kind of share you know every like guest at the restaurant right. shares this, this container of syrup and the manager saw exactly what was happening and basically said I'm sorry he can't do that what well, else is he supposed to do you know <laughs> This really makes me uh, a bit frustrated because I think the manager uh, had an opportunity to see the situation and realize that that was the only way that that kid was going to be able to eat. Um, so, and, and if he w felt that there was a sanitation issue, that's, I guess, for me, I guess that's fine. They could have gone in to that particular table and I guess cleaned it up. Yeah. E extra, you know, yeah. after they had left instead of telling him that he can't eat with his feet. Like, that's just, I don't know, to me that's that's rude. But I have definitely had situations like that before. Have you had some situations when, uh, in restaurants? Yeah, I mean, for one, I mean, it's, it's different to actually go up there and, and someone who, like, maybe who didn't realize that someone doesn't have arms and is right. using their feet and, like, messing, you know, someone who, like, but someone who blatantly says you can't do that. <laughs> when they say you know. <laughs> <laughs> when they see another option, and I heard that William's mother did advocate for him, saying, you know, well, what other choice does he have? He doesn't have arms, and his feet are just as clean. In fact, she brought him into the bathroom to wash his feet, brought him back, and they still said, I'm sorry, you can't do that, and, and that's kind of really sad. At one time, I was at a restaurant, and I just had my feet propped up on the table like I normally do, just, you know, having some chips and salsa, and I was leaned back pretty far, and all of a sudden, the manager came up and said, will you please put your shoes back on? And I was like, I didn't know what to say. I was like, I was almost like, like stunned. Cause that had never happened to me in my whole life. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, um, sir, I, I use my feet. I was born without arms. And the moment I said that though, he was like, I am so sorry. He felt <laughs> awful, so bad that he covered the entire bill for my meal. Wow. Didn't even charge me for a meal. What about you? Anything happen like that? Um, I was actually out with my sister and we went to a restaurant and just casually I had my my leg up just on the table, kind of like you would with your arm, just like yes. resting it. Like. <laughs> yeah. And. Um, the waitress, she ran over and she goes, could you please put your feet down? And I was like, oh, like up here. I was like, oh, okay. So I put my feet down and like, I didn't say anything to her. She continued on with her way and she walked off. And I leaned over to my sister and I was like, how, how, am, I, how am I gonna eat? <laughs> if, if my feet are down here, like I didn't say anything to her, but, yeah. or to the, to the waitress. Yeah. I was like, how, how am I gonna eat if my feet have to be down here? And she's like, I don't know, like, do you wanna leave? And I was like, I don't think so. Like we already ordered our food. And then I didn't, it never even occurred to me to think that that woman didn't realize that I didn't have arms. Oh. So God. I'm just like in the Williams situation. I was yeah. like, well, what am I supposed to do? How am I, how am I supposed to do these things? Um, do I need to leave? And then someone had talked to the waitress. I guess they were like whispering in, in the corner and she ran back. She goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that you are, in that condition and I was just like, oh, okay. I was like, can I put my feet back on the table? She goes, oh yes, yes, yes. She didn't cover my bill, uh, <laughs> first did, but I think yeah. she was a little bit embarrassed and realized that there was a reason why I had my feet up on the table. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it occurs to me that, you know, some people don't always 
connect the dots right away. They're just like, oh, someone has their feet on the table, you know, and we're, we're taught in society, you're not supposed to put your feet on the table. But in our situation, our feet are, are serving a purpose. They're, they, they, they're, they're basically our hands. So it's just, you know, so I just think for those of you who, if you ever have a meal with us, try to uh, just, you know, relax. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, don't worry. Our toes are pretty clean. So come have a meal with us in St. Louis or Tucson. And uh, let us know what you think. Will you be grossed out by a foot user eating or grabbing a hold of a shared plate with their toes? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Food. But I definitely think that we should venture out to uh, where William lives and you, me, Anna, Anne, and Barbie should just go to IHOP and <laughs> just like a group of armless people like smothering themselves in syrup. <laughs> that next time we go to Northwest Arkansas, a group of us armless women are gonna stand up for poor little three-year-old William to let that manager know, hey, we'll eat with our feet if we have to. So if you guys are interested in seeing how we cook with our feet, definitely check out our Cooking With Our Feet video on Toe Talks, and we will put a link uh, above so that you guys can click on it. Definitely check that out. It was really interesting, and we made wings. So, we got a little sticky there too. <laughs> yeah, fun times, fun times. Okay. Yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, do all the things that you need to do in order to keep up with notifications because we like to upload videos once or twice a week. Uh, if you're interested in more content, go to patreon.com slash talks and subscribe because we've got a lot of behind the scenes footage for you guys to check out there. And we will see you in the next one. Toes up. <laughs>